What is up, Coratics? Welcome back to the Contract DLC. In this video, we'll be customizing pretty much the last drip feed vehicle of this update, which is the Western Reaver. Uh, now, we do have the Baller ST returning as the official last drip feed vehicle, but in terms of vehicles that have, you know, released, whether that's temporary or permanently, uh, this is the last one. The Reaver, $1.9 million <laughs> motorcycle. Uh, very, very expensive. Um, I already went ahead and bought it. I heard it has a money tech. I guess we'll find out if it does. Um, really good looking bike. Um, definitely one of the better looking ones. I think it looks better than the Shinobi. We have the Shinobi over here, which was the other bike from this update. Um, I think this one looks a little cooler. Great looking bike. Now, this bike is primarily based on the Arch 143. Um, and the reason this bike is called the Reaver, you can see there, Western Reaver, um, uh, is because the Arch company, uh, that makes that motorcycle, um, was partially founded by Keanu Reeves. <laughs> so, Reeves, Reaver, you can kind of see the connection there. And it's also partially based on the Arch Nazar as well from Cyberpunk 2077, um, uh, but it has some styling cues from that as well, even though... That bike was based on the ARC 143 as well, so I guess kind of makes sense. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the customization for this bike. I'm excited to see what we have. All right, right on the D-pad modify. All right, let's see if it has a Mani Tech. Oh, no Mani Tech. Oh, man, that would have been the only motorcycle in the game with a Mani Tech. That's unfortunate. That really sucks. I mean... What makes these bikes worth, you know, all that money if it doesn't have the money tech options? That kind of sucks. Oh, well, well, let's see what other stuff it has. So, armor, backrest, small backrest, ridge, diamond. What is the... Oh, it's the actual... Oh, I see. Wow. A little detail there in the actual backrest. I don't like the way any of these look, if I'm being honest. I kind of like it without the backrest. It looks a lot better to me. Um, brakes. Uh, engine. We had super brakes there, so that's cool. Um, exhaust. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, sports exhaust. That's nice. Street with the carbon. Camera's being glitchy. Won't let me turn with the... Okay, that's weird. When I change it, it gets crazy. Okay, racer exhaust. Gosh, what the heck's wrong with this camera? <laughs> it's like forcing me back that way. Okay. Um, and then quad. Quad? Where's the... Oh, they're stuck on top of each other. That is sick. And I can't rev it either. It won't let me. So that's great. Uh, the quad is insane looking. But the sports exhaust. Oh, that looks nice. Tough choice. That's... Wow, I think I'm gonna go with a sports. I just love the way that looks. That's an that's a really good look. Uh, front mud guards. So you got racer, more simple there. Secondary carbon racer. Got the arc mud guard. Carbon arc scoop. Scoop looks pretty cool. Hmm. I kind of like the arc one. That one's that's that looks great. The scoop one, I don't like how it kind of fills in that area below the headlight there. Um, I think I'll go with the Arc Mudguard primary color. Front seat. What changes here? Ridge seat. Okay. Racer. Ooh, yes. What's the difference between... Oh, it cuts off that area. That's sick. Diamond racer. Half diamond. Diamond racer for me. That's, that's nice. Uh, lights. Xenons, okay. Liveries, what we got? <laughs> that looks really, really good. That is sick. Reeve, oh man, that's, that has to be the best one. Then you have white stripes, which we can't see because of the. We paint this silver really quick. Livery, what is this one? White, okay, literally white stripes. Okay. Doesn't go over that seat area that we had repainted though. That's kind of weird. Okay. Um, black stripes. Yellow stripes. 
See, that's a bit unfortunate. I mean, what's the point of taking that part of a seat out <laughs> and then the, the livery doesn't go over it? Kind of weird. Um, blue stripes. Okay. Digital camo. Redwood. That's a, that one looks pretty good as well. Zero. Ooh, the Spronk. That actually looks pretty good. One of the best Spronk liveries I've seen. <laughs> Okay, I have to admit, the livery options on this bike, they are very good. I, I can admit that. Um, and the, the Reaver one is by far my favorite. That looks absolutely amazing on this bike. We're going to keep that. Plate, I don't even know if I have a plate for this. Uh, yeah, I really don't. <laughs> I'll just put my re-plate on there. There we go. Uh, background black, boom. Rear mudguards. Okay, here we go. So you got the arc one, secondary arc, carbon, track, that one looks pretty good. Carbon track, racer, wow, hmm, it's funny, the arc ones are actually pretty similar to <laughs> the real one, kind of insane there, um, I mean I guess it makes sense, uh, I don't know, I think the, I kind of like the track one. But at the same rate, the arc one looks really good too. We'll do the arc one. Respray. I have no idea what to paint this bike in. Um, I think in maybe like a gold, this thing would look cool. Let's go to uh, metals and that. That. Wow. Why does that look so good? <laughs> that. That looks okay. Wow. That's 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 definitely do that. What's the secondary on this thing? It is nothing that I could tell right away. Um, I guess any of the secondary options you chose. Oh, wait a minute. The stock wheels have like a line around them. Look at that. So that's your secondary on the stock wheels. I mean, I guess we can make that gold to match, but I don't know. I kind of want to change these wheels if I'm being honest. Um, they look good, but I just don't like the white tire line around it. Um, but there you go. That's part of your secondary. Any of the you know visual options you choose that have the secondary color attached to them, and the a line around the wheels, which looks pretty cool. Um, I guess we'll leave that like that for now. Crublum goes on the gas tank. Transmission, super transmission, turbo wheels. I I do love me the track stars. I the track star wheels are my favorite in the game, and I just. I think it looks absolutely great. Or is it Trackstar? Yeah. Those look good. The stock ones look good too. I don't know. You know what? You know what? I think the stock wheels really fit this bike. They really do. I, I have to admit that. I think I'm going to keep those. Plus the, the color attached to it. I can live with the white line. Let's go ahead and respray our secondary color to match the gold. It's not going to be exact, but pretty decently close. Um, go here, gold, there it is, gold. Is that not bright enough? Well, that's not bright enough. I think we might have to go with, let's see here, something a little closer. It's weird how the color is on there. I think, hmm, It'd be a straw brown. I might have to mess with this later, but definitely going to need something brighter. I think, honestly, yellow might look... Because it looks like whatever color is on here is kind of like tinted. And I think, yeah, the yellow looks... Look at that, the yellow looks pretty close because it has that tint on it. Um, hmm, interesting. We might have to go with the race yellow, that's kind of funny. I, th I think it's the Phoenix that has that same kind of tint on the stock wheels if you can glitch the color on there. And then it looks kind of gold using a yellow. Um, so that's kind of funny there. Okay. Um, so we got turbo wheels, we're saying the windshields, so you got iridescent, interesting. <laughs> oh, red, green, sure, any color of the rainbow you want. <laughs> Half a windshield, what's the, oh, it's shorter, okay, I like that, I like it a little shorter. It's like, it's a little wider though, interesting, so it's, actually no, I can't even tell, honestly, <laughs> it's a little, that's, I, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely shorter. Okay. 
different. And what's... Oh! What is this? Short... Interesting. Completely changes the front end look of the bike. Wow. This one is sick with the vents. Oh, man. But it kind of changes the look of the bike. I don't know. I feel like the short one, like the half windshield is perfect. This one, the way it wraps around, I don't really like it too much. It makes the front end of the bike look weird. I don't know, like some alien cartoon or something. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, I'm going to go with a half windshield. All right, there's all the options there. Let's take it for a ride. Not really drive, is right? <laughs> all right, let's rev it up here. Not bad. Okay. Digital gauge cluster looking pretty cool. Jeep cutting me off, thank you. <laughs> Handling. A little sluggish on the response. The Shinobi is definitely more responsive. Corner. Feels very heavy in the corners. See here. Not terrible, but a little... Look at that. See, it takes a little bit to get turning there. Bit of understeer. The speed. The wheelie very well. Go around this. Riding a bike in GTA with traffic is one of the most nerve-wracking things. Jesus, what the heck? Does this thing have that same wheelie... It, it feels similar to the gargle or the way it glitches when you do the wheelie. That is strange. What the heck? He's like doing the bouncing thing. What the heck? Oh my god. Oh my god. He's doing that bouncing thing. It's it's usually most bikes when they wheelie they're nice and stable. This one's kind of like jittering. Like and the gargoyle with the wheel glitch does that. When you wheelie. See it's that's okay. Okay, this is hmm. <laughs> This maybe this might be the new, the new king. I almost hit a post. This it, it, it definitely doesn't have the handling. Uh, lots of understeer. You have to slow down a lot to take a corner, and then you hit a station wagon, and then that slows you down immediately. So you can do that for better brakes. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that wheelie thing is intriguing, though. That's very very intriguing. I'm I'm kind of interested to see. Let's try to do a small little... Uh, most most gauge clusters in GTA aren't accurate at all, but the digital ones are pretty close. Let's, um... Let me try to go in first person without dying here, which is impossible in GTA, but let me try getting a little bit of a speed. Come on, okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. What do we got, what do we got? One, oh my god, just jumped to like 135. <laughs> I... Wow. Okay, we're gonna have to wait till while Bruffy does his testing. I want to know the top speed on this thing. I wonder if this is something exclusive to maybe the stock wheels and the larger wheels, or if the custom wheels do it too. Um, I have the stock wheels, so it's doing that with that. I guess we're gonna have to test that and see. But interesting. Could this be Gargoyle 2.0? <laughs> I don't know, but um. Is it worth the 1.9 million? I, I'd say no, because, I mean, most bikes in GTA are pretty cheap. Batty 801 can do almost everything any bike in this game can do for only, like, what, 12,000 so or 15,000. This is um, not really needed. Um, if it does indeed have that glitch with any wheel and it's the new fastest bike in the game, I guess maybe it might be more worth it, but definitely not no 1.9 million, close to $2 million dollars wait for it to be on sale if you want it and if it's actually worth buying definitely wait for it to be on sale do not spend the full <laughs> price on this thing anyways guys hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one